Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Now, I grew up in the 70s, and what happened in the 70s, we had this wonderful game. What was that game called? It was called Pong. It was a black screen with white uh, paddles and a ball that went beep, 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 beep. It looked something like that right there. And that's cool, and that was fun. And then you got the Activision and the Intellivision. Then one day, the Nintendo NDS came out. And when the Nintendo NDS came out, it kind of changed gaming all the way around. So I was looking on Gearbest and I found, what did I find? I found this. It says the Anniversary Edition Entertainment System. Now it doesn't say Nintendo Entertainment System. It says the anniversary edition entertainment system. Because when I was at Walmart, I saw this sucker and it said Nintendo NES system. So the Nintendo NES system was $59 at Wally World. And I got this for half the price, for about $25 from Gearbest. And they delivered it straight to my front door in about two weeks. And it looks just like the Nintendo system. Except, it's got 500 games built into it. That's right, 500 games. And that's pretty cool. So now, since it's got 500 games, it takes me back when this was a look, what a game looked like in the Nintendo system. That's right, this is what a Nintendo game was. And there's 500 of these in there. I'm thinking it's probably a Raspberry Pi board in here. If I was to be a gambling man and they've downloaded the NES games. Now I remember back when I was able to take NES games and I put them onto my son's Game Boy through an emulator. And my son's Game Boy had pretty much 500 games in it, I think. So this is the anniversary edition of the entertainment system. I would say NES system, but it's not being sold that way. This is the entertainment system. So, don't touch that dial. Stay right here and we're gonna see how this system ah, plays out. All right, so now it's time for a fun edition of What's in the Box? What's in the Box? What's in the Box? What's in the Box? Mini Game Anniversary Edition entertainment system built in 500 classic games in one nintendo looking style box that's right looks like the classic game console for nintendo let's open the box Ooh, move this back a little bit look at that uh, uh, uh. So we'll start with a game controller. It's pretty much like the uh, Nintendo controller that I remember. At least in styling cues. One. Two. Game controller. Next, user manual, list of games. Power block. It's USB. RCA cable with a 3.5 cord. Interesting, so it must, it looks like it only splits it. The sound's only one. Right, look at that. Okay. There's two lines, one for video, one for sound. Not three, so there's no stereo sound. But it does have two, so it must split the sound in the cable. And now for the piece of the resistance. The gaming system itself. It's a lot smaller. Everything's solid state built in. 
but we're gonna check it out and see how it works. You got an audio video out, a DC in, your two controller connections, power button, and a reset button. Clicking at the reset just clicks, resets it. Power actually holds down, it comes up. All right, so a little nostalgia value there. So what's in the box? We have two controllers, the game system itself, and a power block. And now we have an empty box. All right, so I'm trying to frame this in as best as I can. You can see here's the entertainment system. Here's the Nintendo style uh, control pad, and I have one right here. Here. All right, so it says there's 500 games. So there's 500, number 500. So if we go back to the beginning. dream again so it looks like there's about 480 games on here still a lot of games even though there are some repeats so let's hit check out one of them Galaxian let's look at that one I used to be good at this but I probably ain't now I'm gonna embarrass myself on my channel The controller seems somewhat responsive, as responsive as I remember being. Oh, not very good, am I? Galaxian. Now, to get out of this, we just hit reset that takes you back to the beginning let's check out Batman this came out after the 1989 Batman those were really cool graphics at the time Look at that graphic, it's awesome! That's my favorite Batmobile. Alright, so we can move. We can fight. Alexa, turn off the living room. I don't think the TV, you can see it okay. with the camera very well. Alright, so let's see if we can get in here. I don't have any guns or nothing. See, I'm really good at this game. All right, so what do I think? Well, I bought it just because these are the type of games I used to play. And, you know, I thought it would take me back and give me some fun. Now, the controller right here, you know, I think it plays just like the original Nintendo controller. It feels about the same. It looks about the same. I can't tell the difference. 
between this and the original Nintendo controller. It was cheap, under around 25, 30 bucks. So I got about 480 games. I'm not gonna say 500, even though the box says 500 because I see ones that repeated on here. The quality of the box, I'm sure it's running a Raspberry Pi or at least close to a Raspberry Pi in it with all the uh, functions, but even building it with these controllers right here to get a controller that is the original controller. This is the original pin controller. I mean, if you look at these, those are the original pins right there. That's pretty close to what the original Nintendo had. Except, of course, it was way bigger. Um, so sometimes it's just about having some fun. All right, so now you were able to see the Anniversary Entertainment System. That's right, the Anniversary Entertainment System that was sold on GearBest. Hey, it takes me back to my younger days when I was a kid playing video games. It also takes me back and gives me a chance to share some time with my son who plays all these really cool games that have great graphics. But at the same time for me, it was more of the interaction because sometimes it's about the experience. And for me, the experience is spending quality time with my sons playing video games if that's what they want that are in my skill set, not theirs. Because their gaming skill set is way better than mine. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications. And I will see you soon.